Hey, howdy, and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, and this is your breaking news update. You saw we have already had the live stream up on the channel today, but we are now fully able to break down the package that is for Matthew Kachuk. So, Matthew Kachuk, obviously on the trading block, he is now headed as a member of the Florida Panthers with an extension in place eight years by nine and a half million dollars is the extension with the Florida Panthers. He heads from the Flames to the Panthers in what can only be described as an absolutely incredible deal here for the Calgary Flames. This is best case scenario, and I'm an Oilers fan, which is literally worst case scenario if you're asking me. But folks, if you're new to the channel, what I want you to do right now is take the next 5-10 minutes, whatever it takes me to get through all this news, to please consider subscribing. Quite honestly, we are on track here on Clem Hawks to get some things done this summer, and we'd love to have you along for the Minnesota Wild season this year coming up. But folks, let's get to it. The Matthew Kachuk deal, absolutely unreal. So, we had about 20 minutes ago the Matthew Kachuk deal broke on Twitter that he was headed to the Florida Panthers. And now the full trade is Matthew Kachuk to the Florida Panthers with an eight by nine and a half million dollar extension in place in exchange for. Are you ready for it? You saw it on the title, but you gotta hear it to believe it. Jonathan Huberto, Mackenzie Weger, Cole Schwint, and a first round pick. And we will get this right here for you in case you don't believe me. I'm going to waste a few seconds of your time because, folks, you got to believe me on this one. It is Frank Saravelli, the checkmark on Twitter, getting us um, the news we needed to know here. As uh, ooh, I can't even type trade news um, right there. Let's go get this up here just so you can see this because this is absolutely out in left field. Did not expect this to happen. Thank goodness I stayed up tonight for it. And here we have it. Right here, as per Frank Saravelli of Daily Faceoff, he was the first one on it. There you go. I am not bullcrapping you at all, if at all, here. Matthew Kachuk, extension in place, 8 by 95 according to Elliot Friedman of Sportsnet.ca, uh, in exchange for Jonathan Huberto, Mackenzie Weger, Cole Schwint, who is a prospect of the Panthers prior to this trade, and a first-round pick. You know what? My goodness, everybody was sitting here absolutely roasting Brad Trey Living about the situa situation with Johnny Gaudreau and, of course, Matthew Kachuk. And now in what turns out to be one of, if not the craziest, tourney events I have seen this summer so far, you now have Matthew Kachuk as a member of the... Calgary Flames going now as a member of the Florida Panthers in exchange for Jonathan Huberto, a first round pick, Mackenzie Weger, and Cole Schwint. You turn the crappiest possible scenario. Your star player says, I'm out of here, man. I don't care what you do. The club elects salary arbitration. That screws everything up. A uh, trade has to happen. And Friday night at 9 o'clock Alberta time, you have this absolute masterpiece beautiful of a mess in the offseason show up on your twitter timeline matthew kachuk for jonathan huberto mackenzie weger cole schwinn and a first round pick first thoughts yak what are you thinking my goodness this is I've, i'm trying to allude to it a haul for the calgary flames this is an absolute win you took a loss and turned it into a win jonathan huberto that's huge, right? Obviously, they get somebody who is going to be capable of playing great hockey with Elias Lindholm. Mackenzie Weger, solid, awesome pickup. Cole Schrindt, great, great prospect. And you get a first-round pick out of it. This is absolutely insane to have come down on a Friday night in the dead of July. Quite honestly, right? It's raining in southern Alberta. I'm about 45 minutes away from Calgary in this basement studio where I am right now. And this is what comes down on my Friday night, incredible go for the Calgary Flames. For the Florida Panthers, I don't know realistically what they're thinking. Obviously, yeah, you know what? You have a lot of variables to have to move around to make the cap work. To bring in Kachuk at eight years, nine and a half million dollars. But that is insane. That is an insane price to pay. Huberto, Uyghur, Schwint, and a first round pick. And I just got to check Twitter one more time before I let you folks go because... I don't know, man. I don't know if this is um, if this is actually what's going on. 
Um, yeah, you know what? Hubie and uh, Uyghur, we're going to make a combined 16 plus million in free agency next year. So just unloaded them. Uh, uh, I guess that makes sense, right? Why pay 60 million when you can pay 19 and a half or nine and a half? Sorry, that makes a lot. Calgary wins the deal and it's not even close. Uh, yeah, you know what? Even if you re-sign one of those two guys, which it'll be Huberto 100% guaranteed for the Calgary Flames, you have just gone out there and gotten yourself going. So both players are UFAs after the season, okay? So that is, it's a one-year run back for the Calgary Flames to try and stay competitive with these two players in the lineup after losing Goudreau and Kachuk, but end of the day, you are signing one of them guaranteed, if not both, and I am sure Jonathan Huberto would love to stick around and play for a storied franchise like the Calgary Flames. Other than that, Mackenzie Weger, I'm not sure there. Cole Schwinn's a heck of a pickup, and you get a first-round pick as well. Folks, this is an all-day, everyday, and I'm not meaning this in the sense of the Flames pick up common Ws, but this is a common Calgary W because I am outspoken about how much I love the Oilers. Edmonton, eh, 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 kind of a great city, not really. Um, Calgary, much better, and that is taken away by having the mountains, which is the common Calgary W every morning driving to work, is you get to see the mountains, and that's fantastic. But folks, you know what? This is a common Calgary W right here taking home an absolute disaster class of general managing and turning it into this. This is phenomenal to see for Calgary Flames fans who, as an Oilers fan, I'm laughing at them all off season so far. But to see them, you know what, lose complete faith in their general manager and then he does this, that is even better because, man, Calgary Flames fans can be so fickle. And this is exactly what I wanted to see right here is just the complete 180 that we're seeing on the Twitter timeline this evening nearing 10 o'clock mountain time here in Alberta. I am Yak. This is Clem Hawks. That's the initial take. We might have more on it tomorrow. But, folks, that is all you need to know. Matthew Kachuk headed to the Florida Panthers in a explosive package back the other way for the Calgary Flames. Huberto, Uyghur, Schwint, and a first-round pick. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and I will catch you in the next one.